All right, so we're gonna prep this door for paint. Uh, we got a couple things. We got a 3M gray sponge, 3M makes these super fine and fine sponges. They're great for light sanding. We get some 220 here for some heavier sanding. We had some really worn out 80 grit for the sides of the doors where these doors were brand new. They were uh, sprayed by the builder and sometimes it helps to have something a little bit heavier where you're not going to burn through the edge, but when that's too aggressive, we can always use the 220. And the 220 is really going to be for any boogers and stuff that we have. I mean, for the most part, what I can do is go through and hit it with this. And I'm just giving it some even pressure. It's just one or two things. It's knocking down any high spots. It's helping scuff the door to create some adhesion with the new top coat. Getting all that old dirt and grime off there. And you'll notice is once you sand it, the door has like a powder on it. So for the most part though, this sponge is gonna be for going over the whole door. I can do a circular motion and around these edges, it's a little rougher. So I can take this 220, it's got a little bit more bite to it, burn through those frayed edges on this door. And I'll just use that where needed. But for the most part, I'm gonna scuff this door with a sponge. Give it some even pressure. You can see as I do it, I don't know if it shows up in the video, but it kind of leaves like a, uh, you see the dust on my hand. It leaves like a weird uh, milky look almost. And then for inside these creases, the sponges, it'll contour to these little nooks and crannies on this door. So I'm gonna go up and down in those, working one stick at a time, one stick. I guess you can call this one stick in its entirety. I'm kind of getting in those creases, knocking down any heavy stuff, any old fuzz that's trapped in the door, either just from dust settling in the house or being embedded in the paint. Some guys, like the union painters I had on this job, kind of scoff at this stuff. They don't think it's necessary, but if you're really trying to achieve an ultra smooth finish, something that really looks, you know, better than usual. This is kind of what you need to do. Uh, we would normally probably vacuum these doors, but we're gonna dust them off. I got a tack rag. And as you can see, I'm kind of moving through this kind of quickly. I'm not spending a whole lot of time because it's not really necessary. It doesn't seem like this sponge is doing a whole lot, but it really is. And obviously, like I said, where there's some rougher spots I can kind of spot sand with that and then go back over it with the 220, the 220 and the, hit it back with the uh, fine finish. These door knob holes are always something you want to kind of hit with something a little bit more aggressive. Especially if you're trying to get like an old ring out to a different door knob. You see I'm moving pretty quickly through this. I'm not spending a whole lot of time you're trying to paint something. You don't want to spend a ton of time on something unless you're getting paid to. This is just your average everyday door. Making sure I hit every surface. Down here I got some heavier dots. You can see. So that's where I My 220 just kind of knocked those spots down. That could have been drips when we did the ceiling. It could have just been some spatter from when they sprayed the doors. But if you buzz them down, usually they'll go away. And then, just gotta hit this guy, flat here. And then, my face around the box. Really paying attention to if there's any scuffs or black marks or just gunk on the door trying to hit that a little harder to get it burned out. 
so it doesn't bleed through my paint. So that completes the sanding on this portion of the door. Um, I will be hitting, I hit some of this ring yesterday, not all of it, but I'll go through and hit this too. But for right now, we're gonna finish off prepping this door. I'm gonna take this brush and just from the top down, I'm going to dust it off. Mostly in these creases will hold dust up here. So from the top down, brushing the, the dust downward. As I'm doing it, I can see little chunks that were left behind from the sanding. If I miss anything, it's okay, because I'm gonna go back over it with a tack rag. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so we got our tack rag here. Tack rag is a reusable cloth, removes dust, lint, provides a super smooth finish for use prior to applying finishes. So we're about to apply a finish. So just lightly glide it over the surface. This is gonna trap any of that surface dust. We usually use this in conjunction with a vacuum. So instead of dusting it with a brush, we would vacuum it. We had a lot of these doors. We just have a couple of these doors to do. And you can see maybe a little bit on here, there's a little bit of grime that's getting on these. And what you do when they get real dirty is you just flip to a fresh side. Just, you see how quickly this is going here. I'm not spending a whole lot of time. So you wanna get the door painted. Looks like some burn through here. Just try to smooth that out. Let me just hit it with my tack rag. And you can see it, there's a little bit of shit on there. So it's ready for paint. So now we're gonna cut this in and get started. I'm gonna pause it now.